Hi everybody. Here I am. Top stitching this lovely blouse and I am just about to reach a corner. This is where I need to pivot to continue top stitching along the next edge. See that? I start to sew again, but the machine is just stitching in the same spot, not moving forward. Take a look at this. The stitches are all bunched up. A bit of a mess here. It's not the finish I want, and uh, it means I have got some seam ripping to do. Have you ever faced this problem while top stitching? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. Hi, I'm Olga from hbury.com. Welcome to my channel all about sewing, embroidery and quilting. But first, before I show you the solution for those tricky corners, I want to talk about top stitching in general. It's an essential skill and there is a bit more to it than just sewing around corners. And getting it right makes all the difference. So let's go back to basics and uh, ensure we have a solid foundation in top stitching techniques. Choosing the right thread color for top stitching is important. I usually lay out a few different threads on the fabric. I need to find the perfect blue to complement this blouse. This is the first option, it's a deep blue, but as I lay it against the blouse, it's clear that it's a bit too dark for what I'm going for. This one is also on the darker side, uh, still darker than I would like. I want my top stitching to en enhance, not overpower. Now, this third thread is quite the opposite, it's a lighter blue and uh, against the fabric it's just too light. The contrast is more than I need for a subtle top stitch. I think this fourth thread is just right. It blends beautifully with the blue of the blouse. I want to create a seamless look. I always wonder so many hues of every color. Now it's time to winter bobbin with this thread. Precision is key in top stitching, especially when it comes to those corners. I always mark them. I will mark only the pivot points where I need to turn the fabric. I am marking for a top stitch about 1 eighth of an inch from the fabric edge. I use a thin fabric marker. These small marks are my guides for flawless top stitching. Use a marker that's fabric friendly. The last thing I want is permanent marks on my blouse. Taylor's chalk or disappearing king pens are great options for this step. So my uh, pivot points are marked. There is no need to mark the entire line of stitching. For top stitching, I like to use this presser foot, the edge guide presser foot. It comes with an adjustable screw. Just uh, set it to the distance you want from the fabric edge. One eighth of an inch for me today. It keeps your stitching straight. I have put together a detailed tutorial on my site that covers everything you need to know about this foot and uh, others like it, so check it out. Before I start top stitching, I'm going to do a test run on some scrap fabric. A little Testing goes a long way in uh, saving you from the seam ripper. <laughs> Check uh, machine settings, adjust the tension and stitch length. You want the tension to be just right, not too tight, not too loose. For top stitching we usually go for a longer stitch length. I'm setting mine between 3 and 3.5 millimeters. Not too short, not too long, just uh, right for that top stitching. I think this is good. If it doesn't look quite right, make adjustments. It's much easier to correct things now than to unpick stitches on your final garment. Ok, I can start top stitching. This step is actually the reason I created this tutorial. I know that a lot of us have uh, encountered an issue when we pivot at a corner and then start sewing again. You see, when there is just a little fabric under the presser foot, and I have only one eighth of an inch here. So the feet dogs underneath cannot quite get a good grip. 
but there is a fix and it's pretty simple just uh, take a folded piece of fabric like this one here and uh, tuck it behind your project fabric make sure it's of a similar thickness for the best results now as we pivot at this corner you see needle down i place this piece of fabric behind my project and uh, look at that the machine is sewing along no knots no stalls just top stitching okay And the uh, corners have come out just right. No bunching or knotting, just clean, even stitches. And uh, here is the blouse I was top stitching. Take a look at the finished product. I am really pleased with how it turned out. And now I want to show you another example. This uh, isn't a project of my own, it's actually a store-bought shirt, but uh, it's good for demonstrating the top stitching technique. I'm using a um, contrasting thread here, so you can really see the stitches pop against the fabric. Also, I use a different presser foot for top stitching. This is another one of my favorites that I like to use. You can see how the presser foot guides the fabric. Okay, I came to the point where I need to pivot around the corner of the collar. This is a spot where many of us might encounter a bit of trouble. So I'm going to use a piece of fabric behind the foot again. This will prevent the machine from stalling and ensure we can sew around the corner neatly. With uh, this extra fabric in place, the feed dogs have something to grab onto. And uh, I can continue stitching without any, uh, without any <laughs> hiccups. You see that the stitches are even and the corner is sharp. This gives you a clear view of what top stitching should look like when it's done.